most people don't even know. Like Shaq owns Forever 21. He owns Brook Brothers. He owns the rights to Marilyn Monroe. Like he is like the most astute businessman that I know. But he gives you that. Push me in a Christmas tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a big guy. I'm a big. I'm being goofy, and he's taking him to the bank every oh day. Oh my god, like, bro. Brooks Brothers. Yes. Yeah. Forever Twenty One. Yes, man. sir. The rights to Marilyn Monroe. Come on, man. Reebok. Come on. That's yeah. Shaq. Big Boys Neighborhood, beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Pleasure to have this man back in back. the neighborhood, Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome back, bro. I got to do <laughs> slashes and stuff, too, now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. NBA, uh, inside the NBA, uh, now uh, author, you know. You actor. Can, actor. Author. Oh, yeah. 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 Man, yeah. I can't be mad at you, yeah, bro. No, no. I, I took a page out of yours, your book. Man, man, can you put it back? Because I'm not successful. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's the one wow. page. I was like, man, remember I was looking? I was like, man, where these pages at? No question, man. That was a lot of fun, too. Hey, man, we, so we are back now, man. It's so many, so many different things to cover with you, man. We're back in the finals. Yes. And I don't mean mm. we as the Lakers. I mean, uh, yeah, final we're the Lakers or the Clippers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah. the finals Family are here. <laughs> you know, the, the finals, finals are, are here. here. Hey, man, did you feel like the Lakers, once we did the trades, like it, it became a different team? Yes. Uh, you know, it's definitely a different team. They, they weren't as talented as everyone else. And, mm -hmm. you know, and, they, and, and then the blame just became Russell Westbrook. Oh, right, let's right. blame Russell. Let's hey, blame Russell. Like, you got to have a fall guy. No, be like, you know, like, he, yeah, he was the villain in the movie. Yeah, we, we was even blaming Russell after he left. Mm -hmm. He's like, man, I'm not even in LA anymore. I mean, <laughs> if you looked at the second unit guys that he, you know, he was playing with, I was like, man, that's not a, you know, productive team. So then talent. Mm -hmm. Talent came into place. Because I always say, like, winning a championship, you got to have the one and two guy. Like those are the guys right, right, that right. get you there, but three, four, five, six, seven is what wins a championship. Gotcha. That's a championship team. So let's say, you know, you're old school. Like we talking Lakers, Magic and Kareem. Right, right. But if there's no Worthy, and Byron yes, Scott, yes, Cooper, yes, you know, Michael Thompson, yeah, they don't win. They we don't saw beat that the with, with with the Lakers of of Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe. Right. You know, you, there's no you, Rich you had Fox. A Rory, you had a Fox, no, you had a, Like you know, they're yeah, not winning. Derek like Fisher. they're just they're just talented guys. That would always come up short. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but you put the right guys around them, that's what, it, you know, this, that's what happened with the Lakers. But it was just, to me, I thought it was too late. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, it's like coming in the middle of the season, trying to figure it out. Yeah. Guys probably were getting lost driving to the games. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> they don't man. even know where. Like, like hold on, man. We got an Inglewood. Be like, yo, don't take the one on one. <laughs> yeah. Don't take the one on one at five o'clock. Oh, Are you yeah. Tripping? Yeah, there's certain things that it got. You got to know. <laughs> yeah, just got. Yeah, turf. you got to know. And they didn't have. I don't think you can get that in twenty games. Really? Hey, damn. Hey, man. When when we saw that the the Lakers sweep, mm. you know that it's crazy when you start to think like. All we need is one. We 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 became that team. Like yeah. man, just give us one. You know right, what I'm right. saying? Yeah, yeah. And when we when we got sweeped, LeBron came out swept. When we got swept, <laughs> just what did I say? Yeah, when you, we got you, you had a Charles Barkley <laughs> oh, moment. Oh Lord, have mercy. You had a Charles Barkley Lord, you moment. Know, Kenny, when we got swept, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. damn, you had a Charles hey, man, Barkley I'm moment. I'm so glad you corrected me right now because it would have been in. It would have definitely uh, been in the comments. No doubt. No, no, when no. we got sweet, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I Man, I almost won a three, two, one, and do the question no, over. No, 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 no. We so when, three, two, when we got swept, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Ooh, <laughs> Lord have mercy, man. Miss Byers from Culver High, I apologize. <laughs> so when we when we got swept, right? And LeBron came out, and he's you know kind of he don't know what he's going to do. He got he got he got some thinking. Do you think that LeBron is really considering retirement, or is this like we need more work? This is no knowledge. The inside information. Zero. I have zero. Okay. I'm, I'm observing <laughs> right. it. This is right. a, as an observant of basketball. Right. You you end with a 40-point triple-double. Right. You lose. Right. Doesn't mean you're you're not able to do it. Secondly, you're gonna you just signed a deal, you're gonna leave another 150 million. Yes, he has a lot of money in his mm -hmm. pocket, but you're gonna just leave 150 million dollars on something that you're great at. Right. You're just gonna leave it because why? Right. Uh, because mm -hmm. your team came up short. Not only short, you're still one of the best four teams in basketball. Tell me about it. Like, you know how hard it is to be one of the best four mm -hmm. at anything? Yeah. And around the world. He's one of the best four right now. So that means you just need a piece, an element, some luck. 
and you got to play more games. Mm -hmm. He just has to stay healthier. Right. If he stays healthier, then they get a rhythm. So he just has to figure out a way to play more games in a regular season so then they have a better rhythm like Denver, mm -hmm. like Miami, and like every Boston did. They have a better rhythm. Mm -hmm. That's it. That to me, they just didn't have a great rhythm. And I don't I don't think that LeBron wanted to leave. He would leave like that. And especially you're so close. He ain't leaving, man. Right, right. Okay. He ain't not he, he leaving, like, man. Why are we even having this conversation? Like, man? It, like that was just like that. They already was, got sweeped. That was, yo, <laughs> if I had, yo, let me hold your hat, because that's cap, cap, cap yeah, everywhere. Yeah. It's like, that is the like the ultimate of like. Right. That's almost like eye rolling, like eyeball Damn. rolling. Like, come on, man. I, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Come man, on. Come He's on. not leaving. Come on, man. man. And then they were like, "Oh, you know, he was waiting on his son." Like, right? Stop! Like, right. no. <laughs> right. Like, his son is at USC. Like, and he yeah, has to good. go through a process to possibly get into the NBA that you know is very hard to get to. And people forget, like, seventy-five years of basketball, big. Mm -hmm. There's only been fifty-one hundred players that touch a floor. 75 Are you serious? years. 10 day contracts, 10 seconds, one second. Only 5,100 people in 75 years. So to, to be waiting on your son to be one of those 5,100, that, that doesn't even make sense either. Like, he's not waiting on his son. He's got to okay. get, he's hopefully wishing his son would make it. Like, I wish my son makes the NBA. I, I'm right. big. You wish your son makes yeah, it. Yeah, very much but so. But it's 5,100 people in 75 years. I'm a unicorn when I walk in this building. You can't find another person in this building that's been in the NBA. Oh, no, no. If, if you go right down you the hall that? to KFI, there's, you know, uh, Shaq does his, uh, his show. Over. Yeah, but he's not <laughs> here. He doesn't. Uh, he's not he here. He doesn't, man. Damn the, it. the, it's, it's a, I'm, we're unicorns. Mm -hmm. So it's like, no, like. He's you don't take the phrase unicorn as a, as a slur to you, though? No, I, no, 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 no he thought about it like I'm one of, you take I'm one of many. Yeah, it's, it's Adam. I don't know. Hey man, so we, Adam now we bit. we get a chance to see Miami and <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But but we 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 watching teams that I'll watch. But do you think that this is a great series that's going down now with with Denver and Miami? Yes, mm -hmm. and this is gonna this is what's gonna happen. Denver will become the San Antonio Spurs of our era. They are that team. And then you're going to start learning about Tim Duncan, right, David Robinson, right. Bono Ginobili, Tony Parker. Right. Because they have those non, I call them non-sneaker guys. They're not gotcha. in sneaker commercials. So Jokic, who won two MVPs, I've never seen him in a sneaker commercial. Think that's, about that. That's so true. Guy won two MVPs. Back they say back. he's the best player in the basketball twice. Right, yeah. Twice. And he's not in a sneaker commercial. Hey, man, he was killing me. You know when somebody's so good, you get mad? Yeah. I'm like, man, Ridiculous I was like, dude, shots. somebody got to check the ball, man. See if there's some AI technology yeah. in this or some kind of thing. That... It looked like he was playing against his little brothers. Yeah. yeah. Like, you yeah, know, you're in the backyard, you play against your little brother. You're oh, like, wow. oh, no matter how yeah. good you are, I'm yeah. just a little bigger, a little more skilled. Mom, come, get, what's for dinner? You yeah. know, it's yeah, like, you're not, like, you're not paying so attention. True. He was, he's that good. So, he no sneaker commercial. Jamal Murray, he hasn't right, even made right. he hasn't even made an All Star team yet. This Damn. guy's averaging thirty, oh, close to thirty points in the playoffs. Haven't made All Star. Gordon Porter, young talent. They're gonna be the new San Antonio Spurs for every year in the next four years. They're either gonna be in the finals or, or sniffing close. it. Right. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Do Do you think who Who do you think will pull it off? Oh, are you not there yet? I, I, I didn't think Miami would even be here, honestly. Really? And, and, and But they keep proving me wrong. And so I, I'm never going to doubt them, but the best team is Denver. Like, mm. when you watch, like, oh, yeah. if you watch a Denver Nugget game, you're going to be like, mm. oh, like, let's say before you saw the Lakers, you're like, oh, they are better than us. <laughs> like, you know, right. what I mean? like when you start watching the game, <laughs> like you saw their record, but you yeah. go, I haven't been really watching. Hey, them. man, I see that a lot yeah. when dudes get into fights. Be like, man, yeah, I couldn't whoop them. I couldn't whoop them. <laughs> yeah, like, like oh, he man, was like, much better when I so got in there. So, as a fan, we, even as, a, like, as an announcer, we will talk about the Lakers on TNT even when they're not playing well. Mm hmm. We won't talk about Denver at times when they're playing well. Right. And they've just said that before, yeah, right? Like yeah, the coaches, they, like you guys just. Yeah. You guys aren't talking about us, but you're talking about the Lakers who are no and longer. And they're 100% right. We'll yeah. talk about the Knicks mm -hmm. before we talk about Denver. Oh, my God. You know, right, it's, right, it's, right. It's crazy. Knicks, <laughs> and the Knicks have only won one playoff series. Put some respect on my name. Man, Ouch. Check this out. We talk about the Knicks 
And they've only won one playoff series in 23 years. Damn. Like, when we talk about them, like, more than the Denver Nuggets. Hey, man, when, when we're sitting wow. down watching the game, all right, and for, for us to go inside, you know, the NBA on TNT, are y'all watching the games together or do y'all go to separate quarters to watch? Because by the time y'all come back together or come, by the time they turn that camera on, I am so entertained, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll tell you. So we have our green room. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I can't imagine what Shaq, y'all say off air. Sha- go ahead. Oh, no, Shaq is sitting to my left. I mean, uh, Charles is sitting to my left. Shaq is sitting to my right. And for balance, a, for room and balance. Empty seat, and there's an empty seat right. in the middle. This has been the seating for 17 years. <laughs> and like no one ever comes into our green room and sits in those seats. Mm-hmm. Now we have multiple TVs going on. Where's Ernie? Ernie does not come in there. Uh, okay, I got he, you. He, he just di- he dabbles <laughs> yeah. in. He sticks his head in, he grabs some food, and he leaves. Got you. Because he doesn't want to be partaking to right. the things that <laughs> right. are going on, the, the shenanigans that HR would be calling him about. Right. He's yes. like, no, I wasn't there. You know, yeah, it's better for him. It's better for him. So Charles is watching the game halfway, but he's got, like, law and order, Crescent Fest, whatever. I mean, whatever. Food uh, Network. Food, uh, whatever, whatever's Stop on. It. Hockey. Whatever. He's got his eye on like both. Right. I'm watching the game. Like, I'm not, I'm there Thursdays. I'm a, I've been a basketball fan before I was good at it. So mm-hmm. I'm watching basketball. Shaq has one eye, like a quarter eye on a game, about a half an eye. Then he's either DJing. Oh, Lord. No, literally. <laughs> no. Literally <laughs> DJing. Yeah, one oh. one ear open, and he's DJing and he's watching the game. Then, oh man! Then or then five minutes later, uh, yeah. Uh, hey, oh, this is um, um, man up. Uh, this is uh, what is this, the icy hot? Yeah, how you doing? Oh, this is. Oh, uh, you doing this is deals? Brothers. Yeah, oh yeah, this yeah. is this is uh, hold on, hold on, Papa forever for, for Papa John. Papa John's hold like on for he's doing multi million dollar <laughs> deals. Wow! In the That's middle right. of the thing, and he's like, "Kenny, hold on, Kenny, should I should I get should I do this for three years for twenty eight million or two years for nineteen? Mm. I'm like. Let's do the three years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah, I'm going to do three years. <laughs> like that stuff is going. But down you guys like come that in there the... on fire, like y'all don't miss a beat because we're talking to each other at the same time. So the conversations that go to the thing is pretty much the last conversation that was in the green room. Oh man. So if we're talking, politics, and y'all walking out on that, we're walking out. We're still talking politics. If something happened, like. If, like as serious as George Floyd was coming, we're still right. talking. Yo, something as funny as. You know, whatever is happening, you know, if we talk about, yo, when when we talk about when the guy, y'all had the thing with the, when you we had to put your hands in, you didn't know what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the mysterious box. No, we did that based off the conversation that was in the (laughs) room. So we (laughs) did it on our show. Right. Based on, this was like two weeks ago. So were y'all talking about what we did? We were talking about you yeah, right. in the show right. and we talking about oh he's like you remember when the guy put it in <laughs> that so, was Louis that was me yeah then, with the bear then, with the little stuffed animal a week later we did it right. on our show yeah, right. our, our producers <laughs> overheard us right. talking in the back and he's like yo we don't do the thing oh man everything makes it from the green room to the floor That's I awesome. heard that man everything. so like, y- y'all last two weeks ago that was a tribute. Let's I guess go. it was a tribute. All to right, y'all. well, in two weeks you'll be sued. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, wait a minute. This is what I can't believe. All this technology around here, right? Mm. And y'all still got him really doing the cowbell? Like, hey, he's, man, y'all man. don't even have a What's button. Up? Let me he's tell you. Actually really and for doing one, Lou, it. you should have sat over there. I heard on and tell you to. Uh. You're off camera now. <laughs> you just, you just popping in talking. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, but no, man. It, <laughs> People are like, oh, I didn't know that the bell was real. I didn't know that somebody rung the bell. I could have it here recorded, but man, you, it, it's got to be. Yeah, he's yeah. Got, it's a real bell, ladies. It's got to be, man. Yeah. You know they, what At happens if moment. they start playing AI basketball? True as that. You know what I'm saying? True as that. But we are, we do, we take every conversation from the green room right to live. Man, all righty, Kenny the Jet Smith in the neighborhood, man. Yes, indeed. Talk to me about this. This man is an author now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, man. Talk of champions. It's the stories of the people who made me. And uh, that's the, you know, it's a memoir. And so, like, I I, I read a lot of self-help books. Mm-hmm. And um, it's usually from, like, one person's point of view. Like, oh, you get better doing this. Gotcha. But I realized I was around, at the, by this time in my life, like 15 people that not only changed basketball or culture, but changed the world, the way the world thinks. And I didn't realize I was around them all the time. So I was like, mm. man, I want to take 
those stories. And if I knew I'm at 20 years old, I mean, like, shit, you know where? No, I don't know where I'd be. Like, right. Like, if I knew these stories. So it's like Bill Russell. So each chapter is named after a person. Oh, wow. So Michael Jordan, Bill Russell, you know, you know, Shaq, Charles, Magic, like Kobe. Like, what I learned from them in the times that I met them. And I'm like, man, I didn't, I would never have looked at life that way prior to meeting them. And so I'm just mm. giving that information out. You know, to, like Bill Russell, one time was sitting in the, um, he was my, he drafted me to the NBA. Mm. Activist, obviously we know Bill right. Russell's a great activist for those who don't know at home. And he, you know, we, his rule was I had to sit next to him every plane ride and bus ride. And so I'm sitting next to him. And he would say, yeah, such and such. And, you know, and I was, I was with Martin, and he did this. And I'm like, oh, Martin, wow. Martin, it's like Martin Luther King. But he would just say things like that and give me stories about Martin Luther King in a casual moment. And then I was in awe. And then we're looking one day, and he's looking at all of these players that draft overseas. So I'm joking. And I said, Coach, you telling me there's not a player in Alabama? You're going to take you all the way over in Yugoslavia to just mm-hmm. pick it? And he stopped me. He said, Kenny, as an African-American, you could never not want inclusion. So he's taking a small moment that I'm joking and teaches me how to live my life. I'm like, I, I live my life that way. Wow. I'm like, because of that joke. So it's like those are the kind of lessons that you learn. And business-wise, I learned a lot from Shaq. Did you know it then? No. Right. I didn't. Right. And so it's a, it's a compilation of all of these events that you go, man, that's it. Dean Smith, I have a chat on my, my, my high college coach, greatest one that ever lived. God bless him. And, you know, he's uh, every, for those who don't know Dean Smith, he's one of the coaches at the University of North Carolina, greatest in college basketball history. He's white. Mm-hmm. And so I come into college my first week, and he brings me in the office. and I'm like, oh, he's going to tell me how many late jump ropes to do, how many sprints to run to be a better player. His first question he asked me, what are you going to do as an African-American student on this campus. Mm. I'm like, I'm 17. Right. Like, and and at that point, big, no one who wasn't black had ever asked me that question. Mm. So like all of How did echoes, you take it then? Do I, you see, remember like how I, you took I, I, it? I, I was shocked because I didn't have an answer. Right. And I said, I'm not sure, coach. What do you think? I'm asking right. a white <laughs> man, what should a black yeah. man? How black should I be on how, this right. campus? I, right. I did, it wasn't. It, I wasn't prepared for the answer. So when I, when, when all the social injustice, remember I walked off the set. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And, and people were like, "Why'd you walk off the set, Kenny? You know, when all the, you know, George Floyd and all of this thing was going on, and players, it was, I said, it was the echoes of all those people, and I didn't realize it. And that's when I wrote the book. I was like. Because I always thought I had a good article about my life, not, mm, not right. a good book. Right. Oh, it would be a good five-page article. You know what right. I mean? But then I'm like, it's the echoes of all those people. Dean Smith, Bill Russell, Magic, Shaq, you know, Chuck. Like, everybody echoing in my ears. Michael Jordan, you know. Like, this is why I did it. Mm. So now, also, I live my – I parent that way. I – do business that way. That's crazy. I do sports. It's, that but it's life all into I, the, t- the tuition into the life is experience. You don't even know it. You don't time. even know it. And then I realized that I had a superpower big, mm-hmm. to look around corners. Like, and I think that's what helps me on TV. Like, I'm able to see greatness before it happens. Now, I'm not always able to help you. Right, like, right, like, right. Oh, yo, if you do this, you're going to be great. But I'm like, no, she's going to be great. Mm-hmm. I, and, then, and then that person turns to be great. And I wrote about in a book about, like, Michael B. Jordan. Right. I saw him on a plane when he wasn't Michael B. Jordan. I happened to be sitting next to him. And we're talking. And I'm like, what's your name, man? He's like, Michael Jordan. Mike, Michael B. Jordan. I'm like, I said, you get it a lot, don't you? He's yeah. like, yeah. And you're like, I ain't going to even give it to you. He's like, that's why I put the B. He's like, I said, yeah, I play. He's like, yeah, I know basketball. I follow basketball, blah, blah, blah. So that was it. I said, here's my number. If you ever, you know, in L.A., he wasn't really acting at the time. And he was like, I'm just starting out in acting. He calls me up maybe like three months later. Hey, I'm coming to L.A to give this acting thing a real go at it. Mm-hmm. He said, if I need a meal, yo, just look out for a brother. He's right. joking. And I said to him on the phone, you'll never need a meal from me, bro. He said, why you say that? I said, you got it. Like, you you have it. I don't know how it is, but you have it. Mm. Now, did I help him? No. Right, right. But, but you I saw, saw it. it. And then we see who he is today. Damn. Because of, like, you, I have that with players as well. I'm like, oh, that guy's going to win the MVP one day. 
I just have that knack as well as being having great people. In my Man, life. I wish I would have had you sit with some of these people in the room. <laughs> to, 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 to let me know, and, damn, <laughs> Louis. Just let me know if yeah, you know man. certain people in the room had it, man. But now we what ten years in. Yeah. If I was talking about you, Louis, You're too late, dog. Yeah, you know he's like you yeah. know you know that furniture that just be right there. You're like ah, you know. Yeah. Am I am I am I, am I a, a hoarder? You know what but I'm saying? but like, see, when I wrote it, big. I want like the best compliment I got with the other day. This uh, lady comes up to me and said, "I read your book." Damn. And I was like, "Man, oh, thank you." I wish I would have read this before yeah. you came and, in. And she goes. I really feel better about myself now. And I said, really? You feel better about yourself? She says, yeah, because now I understand why stuff works. When I read this chapter on Michael, when I read that chapter, on, now when I put that in my, I was like, oh, when I did that, that's why it was right. successful. So that's what self-help books are. We all have it in us, but we just don't know why to do right. it and when to do it sometimes. Would you call this a self-help book? Oh, without question. Right. And I didn't even intend to it at first because I got another one, my college roommate, mm -hmm. a guy named David Kohler. He was he just roomed with me in the summers. David Kohler is the plumbing family. Mm. So $7 billion oh, plumbing Lord, family. Right. So if you look in, y'all go to these bathrooms right now, you're going to see Kohler. Oh, my God. That's them. Is that K-O-H-L-E-R? Yes, that's them. That's them. Yeah. Man, give me a number on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's my. That was my college roommate in the summers. Oh my god! So his family was, you know, they were probably close to three, four hundred million dollar business. But I didn't know this. So I'm like, first of all, I'm like, why are you not paying rent? When I found this out, I'm like, Yo, you're sleeping on the couch and not paying rent. Come on, let's now. start there. I'm like, so why did your father just make you an executive? He's like, nah, I got to be a plumber first. I'm like, what? We, you know, from where yeah. I'm from. Oh yeah, we when we I made, made it, it, we, we all, made it. Yeah, we, we made all it. made it. We made it. We're on. We we on. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, because he's gonna make me be a plumber, and then I go through the steps. So if I get an invoice as an executive for seven dollars for screws, I know that they're really three. Mm -hmm. So I know everything about the company. I said, man, I do the same thing in sport. Like I know everything that the center does, the forward does, right. the power forward, the the coaches thinking. I said, man, it's and so we started. So those are applicable to my life again. So now, when my kids ask me for things, I'm like, no, you got to be a plumber first. Damn. You got to be a plumber first. I'm going to give it to you, but you got to go through the steps. And you got it. It's waiting for you. You know, It's waiting for you at the end. But you got to be a plumber first. You couldn't have told me this 10 years ago. <laughs> I, did, I, I had to wait the for book. this. You had to wait. You, to wait. <laughs> no, no, you know what I'm saying? Wait. I, I had to wait. to wait. Yeah, man. So it's just, it's just a, a great, like, the great people, man. I, I was writing it, man. I was writing a book, and I'm sending it in the first four chapters. And so the editor calls me. He's like, do you realize, like, everybody you're sending in has a book written about their life? And mm. I took for granted that everybody had access to Magic Johnson. Right. Everybody had access to Bill Russell. Everyone had like, Dean Smith, David Kohlers. I, I just took it for granted. And I'm like, damn, these people were around my life. Yeah, you know, you know Guy Osiri. Oh yeah, oh Guy yeah. Osiri, Hollywood. Everybody oh, yeah. in Hollywood. We in L.A., so everybody knows who Guy, Guy is. Manages Madonna, Sting, all the big greats. Seventeen years old, he's sleeping on my couch, man. Hey, Amen. For, for like two months. Let me tell you, bro. Damn. I remember we used to do clubs. Seventeen and, years and, old. And Guy was there. And now to this day, I'm like, dude, that's that's Guy. No, let me tell you, I, I meet him. I'm at. I, I come to L.A. I see when I'm playing with the Houston Rockets. I see a hip hop concert. I know hip hop line when I see a hip hop line. I'm first generation. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm going. None of my Houston Rocket dudes, they, only, they weren't even in the hip hop. I go by myself. I walk in, and there's Guy. And he goes, somebody say you play basketball. I don't follow sports. So I'm like, yeah, I play basketball. He said, you like Cypress Hill? I was like, I've never heard Cypress Hill, and I'm not really into this, but right. I'm in the hip hop. And so we talk all night. I'm like, yo, here's tickets to the game. Come through. We kick it. I'm like, look, come to my house in Houston if you want to hang out. He's like, I'm going to come next week. He comes, he, instead of staying a weekend, he winds up staying a month and a half at my house. And we become, like, close friends. And I and he he's like, man, you should get in this music business with me. <laughs> and I'd stupid oh, me. man. And I, listen, listen. Yeah. And I go, I go, man, look. All right, let's try it. I'm trying it with him. And then he's like, he would knock on my door at, like, 3 in the morning. Yo, we got to go. There's this guy named Master P. Mm. We got to go see. He's, I'm like, yeah, man, look. it's 3 in the morning. I can't, I can't keep the hours and be an NBA player that you keep, man. Mm -hmm. Again, you're going to make it. I just won't be able to make it with you. Damn. And he goes, you know you're the first person to ever 
tell me I can make it? I didn't help him right. get Madonna, but I saw around the But corner. you know what, though, man? I, I love the, the way that you tell the story. Mm. And yeah. Michael B. Jordan as well, because I would say I did help them. But that's the difference between <laughs> the two of us. You know what I'm saying? Because I would definitely sit here. Master P would say it. That's what your book would say. That's what your book would say. Yeah, my Yo. book would be like, man, like it would be the night that I told. Told such and such. Yeah, it was great. The plane ride with Michael yeah. B. Jordan. Dude, I'm the one who no, told him to no, put the no, B in his I, name. No, no, no. Nah? No. Okay, okay. Did, All right. Well, it is better the way that you tell it. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's just your the book. ability. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the ability to see around the corners and then. When you read the book, you see why I'm able to see around the corners by my own thought process. Mm -hmm. So you're like, oh, well, maybe I can see around the corners now. Yeah. Because maybe I can see what the qualities are for greatness. Like, oh, I see it. I see it. G so, could you see life after basketball? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I and you got to think, there were, there were examples, but there wasn't a lot of examples like what you guys are to players now. No, and and I no. mean like the afterlife no. of you know some people when they finish the game they thought they they just finished the game they just fin you know they finished that part of their the, you know their lives and now we sit and we see Shaq doing these deals you we, you doing your book you acting like did you see that I had a delusion of grandeur my whole life mm -hmm. that's good I always thought that I was bigger and things were bigger big when I when I started at TNT I think. Like the hey, salaries. Man, what year did you start? I started at TNT. at TNT in '99. And let me tell you what's crazy about that is that people think that this is like five their old. show. Yeah, five years old. Yeah, because we 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 do keep it fresh. Yeah, like y'all. Yeah, like you got people. To. People get like, how long Big been on the radio? Yeah, like how long? They, like it's the same. What year did Ernie go in? Ernie went in in like '94, '93. <laughs> Man, see, yeah, '94, '93, mm -hmm. and so. When it's just like when I started, they I think my deal was like hundred thousand dollars. It coming, was costing me more coming out of the NBA. Oh, wow. No, to be on TV. Yeah, but I'm I talking about you. Houston. You coming out of the NBA? Right. And you're like a hundred. No, hundred thousand. I was spending that on. on yeah. On, so you like a hundred on, thousand? Music. Right. I was spending that on online <laughs> yeah. music at the time. So I was like, what? So you like, it, I lived in Houston at the time. So I was flying back. Then I bring my family. It was costing me more to live, to do the job, mm -hmm. but I always like, man, there's something bigger than here. Damn. Like, and now, like, you know, between, like, uh, I'm not gonna throw my salary. I'll yeah. Throw, what do you make I'll, now? I'll throw, I'll throw Charles's. No, out throw there. yours. Charles out there. got two hundred, two hundred million dollars. Damn. Two hundred million, million dollar deal over the last, next ten years. It's in, it was in the papers. I, I never put mine in. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I, well, ain't try, I ain't trying to be. I ain't trying <laughs> yeah, to be. Man. I ain't trying to be. I ain't trying to be followed home. Yeah. All I know is like. Seven figures was not heard of in the job that was. I was making a hundred thousand, and it was costing me a hundred and fifty to be there. Right. So, like, cause you know, you want to be around your kids. Get on the flight, y'all. We not we not traveling, coach. Right. Get on the first class. It was costing me more. That, but so I always had a delusion it would be there. Hey man, do you ever meet someone, Kenny the Jet Smith, that didn't know you played basketball? That happened last summer for the first time. Because if, like, and the reason why I ask is because we know, and for you to sit up and talk basketball, so on and so forth, we j I just know Kenny the Jet Smith. Right. But you're in so many households yeah. that people got to look at you. They probably don't know what teams you played for. Well, they well, they know? watch me on TNT. They assume. Right, yeah. That he had to play. Right. But they they hadn't seen me play yeah. for sure. Like, you are no, very a few people seen it. brand. Yeah, they haven't. You seen are it. a celebrity. People just they know you. It, it, yeah, over the last <laughs> seven years, it's changed. Yeah, and I was on when I when I did the movie with Adam Sandler. Oh Hustle. my god, dude! Hustle. Let me tell you, bro. Mm -hmm. The the movies that Adam Sandler's doing. Oh, and I'm when gonna, I saw yeah. you, did I hit you like? Oh, yeah, look, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go yeah, ahead now. So I'm I'm on. So I'm I'm going in the, in the airport, and a little kid and a mom comes up. We just saw your movie last night. It was great. I'm like, oh, great. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I keep walking. She says, excuse me, though. Did you play or you're an actor? And I was like, yeah. oh, uh, yes. Yeah. I was like, so I, yo, I am an actor. I'm an actor. <laughs> <laughs> so I call Adam, right? I'm like, yo. I tell him what happened. He's like, yeah. I just during your whole career. Yeah. In, yeah, like, yeah. in one oh, movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one movie. He played basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what's crazy, man, with, with the hustle as well, right? That was when that was the, uh, right the other the player. But also, but that was a player that um, 
that he kind of is that the, the the move where he took the dude under his wing? Well, see, he was an overseas guy. Yeah, we go find he goes find. You him, know when him back to when the that movie was over? Right. I googled the dude that was a star, and you didn't know he was a player either. Exactly. Right. Because he's a, a he's a he's a borderline marginal player. He's in and out the league. But you know he has, I, you know, and people had, didn't even know Ant Man was Ant Man. I had until man, this year, and, like Anthony Edwards, yeah, was true. the villain, and they were like, "My daughters," they were like, "He plays in the NBA." I was like, "Because yeah. Minnesota," they're like, uh, "You know, right. it's like Denver." Right. You know, <laughs> yeah. Jamal Murray, he plays in the NBA. Like mm. you don't know, you mm. know. So, but that, yeah, it's been a lot of fun to be able to transition to a lot of stuff, man. A lot of yeah, fun. man. It's yeah, and, and I'm telling you, man, when you guys sit up, y'all do it so well. Man. Like it, it's crazy how people will the game will go off. Right. And we turn it up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. we just as because engaged. We, because we talk like we're not on TV. Yeah, yeah. You, like you even you when I was telling when I was like, I told <laughs> I told Shaq and Charles, I'm like, yo, I'm writing a, a book. It's called uh, it's a memoir, the people who made me. It's like, really? And everybody's like just sitting there. So I, I I got the attention, <laughs> but I ain't get it yet. So I'm like, yeah, it's a tell all book. Uh oh! They're like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait! What you mean, tell all book? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. tell all book. I'm like, yes, yeah, it's a tell all book. Everything that I learned from y'all. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah, right, yeah, you yeah. Can, oh, we go with that. You, you say you, yeah, didn't, yeah. you didn't have quite their full attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like, I write all the book. All right, tell all. Yeah, yeah, Hold yeah, on, man. Tell all. I was like, yeah, I'm telling everything I learned from y'all, man. And the biggest thing I, I I learned from Shaq, and I wrote in the book is like his business acumen. People don't take advantage of, like. And so most people think that Shaq, you know, he's on those brands. So mm. I asked him, I was like, man, Shaq, you know, they don't feel like you're oversaturated. He's like, no. Nah. He said, Kenny, we got a short window because we're not playing anymore. Right. So we're off the air. So now we got a short window. Let's take advantage of it. You should take advantage of it. Plus, don't think of your things as endorsements. Think of them as partnerships. I'm like, what do you mean? He said, everything is a partnership with me. I don't endorse the brand. I'm part of it. Right. And then, so now... Most people don't even know. Like Shaq owns Forever Twenty One, he owns Brook Brothers, he owns the rights to Marilyn Monroe. Like he is like the most astute businessman that I know. But he gives you that push me in a Christmas tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a big guy. I'm a big. I'm being goofy, and he's taking him to the bank every oh day. Oh my god, like, bro! Brooks Brothers. Yes. Yeah. Forever Twenty One. Yes, yeah. sir. The rights to Marilyn Monroe. Come on, man. Reebok. Come on. That's yeah. Shaq. Yeah. He has the Vin Diesel, huh? He owns hey, it. Yeah. Hey, hey man. The, the, <laughs> even just like the Papa John's. And I remember one time I was running through certain He's things. He's one like, of the that, principal like, owners of Papa John. Like, not, dude, this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not alkaline. We were sitting, Ep- we were sitting down, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Epperson, the the, the copiers. Oh yeah, he's dude. The, I got the copier now because of him. Crazy. Yeah, I'm like, but man, you don't have to put no ink in it. You know, yeah. like, but he doesn't just endorse the brand. Mm-hmm. He he comes in, and I think that's I th- is that is it Epson? I think it's Epson. Is Ep- Epson? Can Epson? somebody check? Yeah, can somebody check real? quick? I know it's E E P I S O N. I S O N. E P S O N. Yeah, it's Epson. Epson. My point. Yeah, Epson. I'm sorry I had to correct you. Oh, my yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't get yeah. sweep. Can, can y'all make sure that both of those go yeah, together yeah, when yeah, we do the sweep? <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so you said Epson, huh? Uh, Epson song. Yeah. I'm thinking Epson song. Yeah. Uh, well, like you said my body Epson. song. Yeah, yeah man. All right. Song. Hey, dude, I've been waiting for you to make a mistake. Oh, my <laughs> nah. God. But that's my point. Hey, dude, and you've been using some big ass words that low key we were like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, no, Loki. I, I wrote a book. I had to do it like a thesaurus thing. But hey, man. So when you when you wrote your book, is it you solo? Like, or did you? No, have, I, I had an editor, a great editor. Not even just the editor, but you know, like no, I, 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 I would wrote, write the chapter. Right. Damn. I would write it out, and then I would send it to my Andy, my my editor, and he he come back, and he go, oh, that's great, but why? When this happened, why? Because as a reader, I don't understand it. Gotcha. And he go. Oh, you should add that. And then he would add it. So boom, you boom, were boom. literally yes. writing your book? It's in this phone right here. Oh, my God, bro. My when I did phone. my book, I had a lady by the name of Sarah Tomlinson, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And I told her my story. Right. And she, But she got my language. She got everything. Right, yeah. And she had come back. But, man, if somebody, if I had to, like. Yeah, you know what? Because I'm on a lot of planes. Mm-hmm. You're here a lot. Right. So your job is home. You go, you go here back to. I'm not even gonna say where you live, but mm-hmm. back in that area where you live. Yes, sir. <laughs> don't I'm not gonna be like Charles. It's like, yeah, when we stay at the Four Seasons, like, yo, <laughs> yeah. yo, say that on we, national yeah. TV. We right there. <laughs> right, no. right. Anyway, but uh, I I just have a lot of time, 
and and I, I met a, a psychologist on the plane once. Mm-hmm. And so she's up, and I'm tired as hell. And she's like, here, Kenny Smith. I'm like, yeah, nice to meet you. She's like, I love your show. I'm like, what do you do? She said, I'm a psychologist. Uh-oh. And I'm like, oh. So I'm thinking she's going to tell me about my life. She says, uh, don't go to sleep on this flight. I'm like, ma'am, I'm, I'm exhausted. She says, try this for me. She said, when you're in the air, they said that because of the, compre- uh, the, the all of the altitude and mm-hmm. all of that, your brain makes you think better. So she said, don't watch a movie and don't do emails. Do something creative. Your creative juices are higher when you're in a high like altitude. Like the pressurized the cabins pressurized, or something all of like that. that. That's what she said. Damn. And so she said, watch how much you get done being in the air. And I started writing the book. You know what's crazy about that, man, is I've I've come up with different ideas. And, and even like there's times when I'll read a whole book on the plane. Right. Damn. You're creatively, she says you're much sharper because of the cabin pressure and whatever. I don't know if it's true, right, but she but had it worked. She, it worked. And so, like four flights, I had wrote four chapters. My first four chapters are easy. Boom, boom, Do boom, you know boom. who the lady is? No, I just she met just her on the gave you that she bar. She just gave me that bar, and y'all got and off. I, and I got off the plane, and I and I wrote it. I was like, yeah, I said, man, I got a lot done. That's what I did. So I never now watch a movie on a plane or anything unless I'm just bored. But if I have something to do creatively, I w- I'm I wait till I get. And on what the plane. year was this when this was, she sat next to you? This was two years ago. Oh, okay. So you was on I, a commercial plane. Yeah, I heard that. That's yeah. why you travel, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I said you, brother. I'm gonna keep mine. Yeah, he was like, man, I, come I, on I do now. travel. I do travel private on somebody else's dime, right? <laughs> on mine sometimes too. I hear you, but it's like I like if it's just me traveling, right? Like, and you got an eight seater. And you're paying fifty thousand. Oh yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Right, story. you got four, five, six people. You know, the Do dog. you get recognized a lot? Like even just walking through the airport or this time of year? Yeah, without you can't. I can't move in the airport this time of year. Playoffs because we're on every freaking day. Yeah, yeah and you think yeah. about it, sports is the only thing that you don't tape to watch. Right, right. It's the only thing. It's the only program. You're watching that live. You're watching it at a specific. So you have to say, I'm tuning in at eight. I'm going to stop what I'm doing to watch. So now I have a special relationship with the people right. that Charles, myself, and, and Ernie. And, and so you can literally check out the hotel the next morning and uh, somebody in real no, 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 time no, no, is no, like, no, or no. that night. That night. But like, sometimes, man, and we had this conversation off. I was like, man, I said, sometimes y'all in that studio, like one in the morning, you're like, yeah, one, two, three. Easy. Yeah, yeah, three o'clock easily. And yeah, because we're doing it's West that Coast. time difference. We're yeah. doing a West Coast game. And then I, I would literally, you come downstairs, you walk into uh, like, and, the, and you're in, like, if, I'm in Boston when I was in Boston, and you walk the streets of Boston. It's, it's crazy. It's like, I'm, good luck tonight. I'm like, no, I'm not playing. Right. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, it's like the whole city is just, like they pay attention to everything you're doing and talking. You said this last night, yeah. Boom, and they think it's gospel. They think everything you say. Is hey, gospel. man, with the cancel culture being so just, I mean, here right. in our face. Right. Do you ever like kind of curl your toes with like what what's coming out of Shaq or Barkley's mouth? No. Next? No. Nah. No. 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 <laughs> I never because even my mouth at times is crazy. You know, not as much, but I always also know. People also look at the source of where it's coming from. It's got to be a consistent consistency of thought. Right. Okay. Like, if I if 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 Charles says something that's consistent with who he is, he kind of gets away with it. Right. You right. I mean? Got gotcha. you. Because of the because of the history. Got gotcha. you. Like, oh, that's just Charles. That's Charles. You know, yeah. it's, it's almost like a comedian. Right. There's certain political comedians. There's certain, you know, uh, social. There's cultural. Same thing. Certain guys can't. When they move in that other element, yeah. then it's like, oh, gotcha. he's canceled. I got gotcha. you. So you, if if it's not you, so just plus size women in Dallas can cancel uh, San Antonio. It, San Antonio, San Antonio. They might Antonio. cancel Kenny, <laughs> right? But it, it might. It, it, I would get like, yo, what are you doing? With Charles, it's like we're we're on the floor in the yeah, tears. Man. Like it's a different element. But I, I think the one thing that makes our show great is we don't care. Like, like it's a it's a real authentic. Feel. Do you ever trip off of like, dude, this is my job. This is what I do. Like I I love this. I I, I the I never trip on it because I don't realize I'm in it. Right. Kind of like when I wrote the book. I don't realize I'm in it until we I, I have a conversation with you. Yeah. You know and what I mean? Bring you you're like, outside of outside it. Outside of it. And yeah. then I, but when you're in it, 
like everyone goes, oh, y'all had such a great idea. I'm like, yo, the makeup lady had that idea. And we just mm-hmm. brought it to the show. Every, see, our show is way different. I know I've been in ESPNs and no and disrespect and no disrespect. Right, right. I've been on other Fox and all. Like what we do is every idea could make it to the set. So if you're having a conversation with the guy, literally the guy, he's every day comes in, he's cleaning <laughs> up the thing, and he's like, "Man, Jason Tatum with the new haircut." Right. And he's like, "Man, he ain't played good since." Y'all do. And then we'll be like, "Man." He had the curls yeah. when he came out. Now he cut his head, and we'll yeah. bring it to the set. Mm. Like we bring every. That's the same to way the we do radio. People are like, man, who come with the phone taps? I'm like, man, it could be me. It could be whatever. Like right. we could say, man, have you called a, a such and such? Right. You know, but yeah, and, and you gotta be open. Mm-hmm. You gotta be open. Yes, and man. You gotta be open, and not you gotta be a. The only way you could be open, big, is you have to be a champion, mm. and not plug in a book on this. But really, champions think. Champions do daily what everybody do occasionally. Everybody else does. Mm. You just do it daily. You're not. Yeah, we do. You're not. You're not extraordinary. You just do the ordinary extra. Mm. That's it. You, you. That's what makes you separates you. Watch my new book. You'll be like, dude. I told him all. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's really though. It's so simple, but it's not for everybody. Right. Every day, you come on, you do the phone tap every day. Mm-hmm. But you just do it a little extra, right? That's it. Like the entire like show, I could do yeah. a I could do a I could do a phone tap, right? But I'm not gonna do it every day. Yeah, I'm not gonna be extra with it, right? I'm not gonna dig deeper, right? Like when that lady's on the phone and she's saying this, you're gonna take a one more step. Yeah, you, that's it. I love that you said that because uh, and you and I've known you for years, right? Mm-hmm. I can't play basketball like you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to tell you that. Too. And I was going to say you couldn't. Right. But I can't do radio like you. There it is. There it is, man. I'm glad, I'm glad we got I can't, that. I can't do radio I'm glad like we you. got that. When you, when you look at the NBA today, right. what's the difference between the NBA today and the NBA of yesteryear? Everyone would say athleticism, but I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Like, And I'll, I'll give us like, I don't know, like old, old school people like here, Larry Nance. They'd be like, this guy was in the dunk contest. He has a son that's in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Larry Nance was more athletic than his son. Mm-hmm. Okay, Nance so Larry Nance Jr. Mm-hmm. He actually played for the Lakers for a second. So, like, no, the NBA is not more athletic. It's not. What it is is the rules changes. Mm-hmm. So once once the rule changes, certain types of players are more visible. Gotcha, gotcha, it's a, gotcha. It's a much more visible game now. Yeah. Where Does before, it seem faster? It's much faster. Oh, my God. Because of the rule changes. So it creates – the you could see the athleticism – more right, you can see the ball handling wizardry more because there's less physicality. Now there was that, but the physicality overshadowed the athleticism and the ball handling wizardry and the shooting. So it's not really change; it's just the rules have changed. And then, which is great, I like to watch this game much better. Mm-hmm. It's a much better appealing game. And and what about and it's all a the threes game. now? Yeah, the threes is. If the threes is like the baseball analytics, that's all it is. It's like if I shoot three out of ten from three, right? I got I'm nine make, points. Yeah. I got nine <laughs> gotcha, points. Gotcha, gotcha. I gotta make five out of ten twos to beat you. Gotcha. So they're saying, I only have to make three. Mm. And you gotta make five to beat me. So that, that's all it is. It's just the logic of that. The problem is there's not a lot of guys that can make three out of ten. Mm-hmm. But they think they can make three. Right. Oh yeah. They think they can. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. I'm like, man, just get a little closer. Just get bro. a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, a closer. Play the ball up. Because Shaq would Pass make eight out of ten if right. he played today. So he would still break the analytic code. Because if you gave him ten shots, he will make eight. Mm. So he'd get 16 points out of ten out of ten shots. But you'd have to make seven threes. Gotcha. Hey man, I love that you continue to give it Shaq because knowing you and Shaq, and I know how y'all beef off air mm. and how y'all not really cordial or cool with each other. You know what I'm saying? No, we're like, like, we're brothers. How y'all hate each other. No, no, I'm, we're brothers. Dude, I'm trying to get ratings. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm trying to get no, clickbait. No, no. But no, do you hate your brother at times? Who has brothers and sisters? Hey man, mm. please don't ask him. He hates his brother all the time. Okay. <laughs> don't put the camera on him. No, yeah, yeah. Like really, like some, <laughs> right, right. Beca- you know what, you know when I start, okay. Like when people say, oh, that's family. No, no, no. Yeah. man, look, this happened the other day. Literally, we have been around each other for the last two months on the road. Mm-hmm. Like, so that's eight hours at the studio. 
We're in the same hotel, so you're in the same gym. Oh, you're going to go eat. You're in the lobby. Oh, you're in the rest hotel. You're around each other too damn much. Right. So yesterday, two days ago, Charles is scratching his like thing. He does this every day. Like He writes stuff down. He scratches it off. Right? And I'm like, this, if this mother doesn't stop scratching his pen, uh, and I'm like, I just right. been too much. I hate him right now. Right. I'm like, I hate the fa- I hate to see you scratching your right. pen. Like, I really wanted to just smack him. I, I literally was like, and I was like, I'm just around him too much. I yeah. gotta take a break. Oh, we need a break. We need a break from each other. It's just you're around your brother all day. You start to smell him. Yeah, it's man. The, you know, it's the cookies. Like Jose, you know, he with ate me. two cookies today. He with me every day, right? There's literally sometimes we get in the car and we ride for 30 minutes and don't say nothing. Silence. Don't say nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're tired of each other. Yeah. And he know me. He like, oh, big, don't want to talk right don't now. Don't want to talk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, but you still want him next to you. Oh, 100%. But you hate his guts at that moment. <laughs> like, I really yeah. sometimes, I look at Chuck and I'm like, I hate this dude right now. I, I, I really do. And then I'm like, but if he left, I'd be mad. Right. I'd be mad. Right. Yeah. But I, I hate him. I hated him two days ago. Hey, man, I want to come back with you, Kenny the Jet Smith, and I want to do something called Inside okay. Inside the NBA. Okay. I'm going to ask you some questions about okay. Inside oh, the NBA, so take gosh. us inside. Uh, all righty. Now, if you look at these right here, uh-oh. these are faces. All righty. You see one <laughs> face is? Right. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. And yeah. the other face is? Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions. And as I ask you the question... I have to put up the face? That's all you got to do. And make sure the right camera see it as well. Okay. All righty. So here we go. All righty. We're inside, inside the NBA. Okay. If Shaq and Charles Barkley were to have a fist fight... It- Shaq wins. Okay. There it is. Charles, <laughs> Shaq wins. Oh you don't want to do nothing like politically correct no, right like, here? Or- I always tell Charles this all the time. I'm like, he always threatens me. I'm like, yo, you're not 1996, Charles. Right, right, right. Like, you, you, <laughs> You two hip surgeries, you know, <laughs> right. twenty pounds overweight. Wow. Right. I'm like, I, I'm not scared of you. I will smack the living yeah. taste out of your mouth, and you couldn't catch me. Gotcha. All right. so gotcha. Shaq. All righty. So Shaq. All righty. Yeah. Inside, inside the NBA. All righty. When you come out of the, y'all walk out of a green room, or you walk out <laughs> your dressing room, and you look, who do you feel dresses the worst out of Ooh. Shaquille O'Neal and Charles Barkley? Damn, that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> because right. I would say Chuck. Okay. <laughs> just is the worst, even right. though he has Gosh, better suits. Bro. Right. Okay. He just don't know how to put it together. Right. You know what I mean? I got like, you. he just, he, somebody now, somebody got to him in the last month or so. He's been dressing well, uh-huh. but it ain't him. Right. But when he's over there, like, he'll have a suit on. And then have ankle socks. Like, <laughs> bro, what, like, yeah, yeah. like, come on, man. Oh, Why man. you wearing ankle socks? I... You can't wear ankle. Those are basketball socks I... with shoes on. Yeah, I'm a basketball player. Yeah, no. Nah. Right. Ch- Ch- All righty. Ch- inside, inside the NBA. All righty now. If you dropped your wallet, mm. who do you think would keep it? Oh. Shaq. Shaq, <laughs> Shaq is not... And he got all the money in the world. Yeah, man. But he he's just gonna keep it on principle. Right. Oh, oh you know I'm from Jersey. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. So what? You from on. Jersey? Everybody in Jersey don't steal. Right. Like what are you talking about? No, I just you know we know where you from. No, Charles would give it back, and then Charles would line your money up. Oh. Because he's yeah, he, you know nice. he's OCD. Oh re- yeah, I heard. Really? No, no, he is. I heard, oh. man. Do we if see he, that on? No, it was crazy. It'd be crazy if we was in here now, and he'd be like this this cup here, yeah. this water bottle. He'd be placing he. He's the only one who I knew who was carrying um, wipes before before COVID. Oh, Damn. Wow. Before COVID. He was carrying wipes around, wiping desk and everything. Really, though? Yeah, oh, it, so it, you it, get it, your wallet back, and then it'd oh, be yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. look at this, all the 50s and tw- everything, and mm-hmm. right and th- side up and everything. I, I, that happened one day. It actually happened. I, I actually took his wallet, joking, mm-hmm. and I was going to take the—he had a bunch of cash— and I'm like, I'm going to take it out. And I heard him coming back. And I tried to put it back real quick. And the whole green room is laughing. And he comes back. And he just sits down. And he's like, yo, who touched my wallet? I'm like, what do you mean, who touched your wallet? He said, first, I had it pointed this way. Oh, my and Lord. And all of my 50 was facing this way. He actually knew that. Damn. That's how crazy he is. I, I heard said. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. like, man, I'm glad I didn't take yeah, that. You know, that's why I just like, I, I just, I drop stuff on purpose. Like I'm, like I'm taking out, I'm, I'm putting sugar and stuff. I pour sugar yeah. down. Like Mike, I, I, I spilled the sugar on purpose. Eating Hershey's Kisses, yeah. taking a foil. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he'll pick it up and, and won't even know he's doing it. 
Like if I was in here and she's doing and she dropped sugar, he'll still talk to you and yeah. he'll be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, big boy. So da 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 da. And, and so and he puts um, it and he knows, and the whole green room's just crying because I do it like five times in a row. Hey man, who do you get tired of uh-huh. hearing? Inside the inside. Oh. oh, I thought my bad. <laughs> no, that's no, not even please, a question. No, hell no. <laughs> like oh, I get gosh. tired of this really? dude, man. Really? You because he never shuts up. <laughs> Ch- Shaq is loud, but right, in right. moments. He's never, it's two in the morning, it's two in the afternoon, it's two in Russia, it's two in, <laughs> he's the same all the time. It's just loud as hell. It's like he has a hearing disorder. <laughs> like, he's too loud. That ch- I get inside, tired inside the NBA, if you had to room with either Shaq or Charles Barkley, why? Because he's clean. There it is. This dude Wait, what? is not clean. Right. <laughs> Leave it as that. Okay. <laughs> really? Not a clean. He's not a cleanliness of his environment. Right. No. Amen. I'm. I'm. I might not be. I might. I'm. I might be called messy. Like I might leave a book over here, a thing over. He will throw stuff everywhere, and it, he's so. I guess he's so rich uh-huh. <laughs> that everyone cleans up after him. Right. Shaquille O'Neal. Be with, inside. No, inside the NBA. Chuck. Whose chair? Do you feel the most sorry for? He's not on here. Ernie. Really? I feel sorry for Ernie. I'm talking about not like, oh, man, you got to sit here. with. I'm talking about like the chairs, like, oh, my God. Like, I can't oh, hold this oh. up. <laughs> like, no, Chuck's. Oh, really? Chuck's. Oh, right. man. Hey, man, is Chuck, is Chuck Bark, uh, Chuck, is, Chuck, is, Chuck, is Charles Barkley Chuck, is he losing weight? No, he lost a lot of weight. He lost yeah. 100 pounds. Wow. And, and, and I still think his chair is going. Right. Because he's still like 100 more. Right, right. Like, because... It, Shaq's chair is probably heavy. Right. Chuck's chair, he can't fit in. <laughs> so he's wider. Huh. Right. Even, though, even when he's skinny, he's wider. Pause. Right, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> inside, inside the NBA, who's always late? Shaq, walking slow, getting wait, in there. Wait, wait. Uh, my face is in there, too. Yeah. Oh, really, though? No. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm always right on time. I'm never, like, I'm right on time. Not late. Yeah, but I'm right on time. Right. But Shaq will Baby, be there. I'm not always there. Shaq, when you Shaq, call. Was put up, Shaq was late the first day of the season this year. We're like, wait, you had three months? This is Charles said. He was like, yo, it was traffic. He's like, wait, you had three months and you didn't know the day was the first day? To get, right. You're here oh, late on the first day. It's the first day of the like, NBA season. You're late. He actually, we were on air and he wasn't there. Oh, really? No, that, when like, y'all got to go, y'all got to go. No, we live. Yeah. So Damn. He was late. The first day of now, the season. Now, did y'all move studios or? No. It's oh, okay. The, so the, the same first studio. Day. Oh, okay. For same right. studio, 17 years. Right. He's been coming to the same <laughs> right, place. Right, right. Like, first day. How you going to be late on the first day? Hey, man, if you looked at it right now, inside, inside the NBA, Kenny Jess Smith in the neighborhood, man, who do you think could play the game today? He Shaq. could it, well not now because they both had hip surgeries. Right, okay. But before the hip surgery, he could give you five, ten minutes. Really, though? Because he's just. He's a freak of nature, man. Mm. He really is. He's the only like, he's still like break dancing, yeah, doing man. flips and jumping into Christmas trees. Yeah. He's such an athlete. Like God blessed him with like a seven foot two body with a five two dexterity. Mm-hmm. You like, understand that, Lou? Yeah, he, that's a little bit. Yeah, right. He's yeah. five. I never he's, that he's, Louis he about moves, five. He two. moves like he's five two. Gotcha. Yeah. And he's but he's seven two. Yeah. Like seven two guys don't they gawky and. Move. I call it fine motor skills or big motor skills. Shaq Stoney is the big guy who had fine motor skills and big motor skills. Mm. Like, he's just like, LeBron James is choppy. Like, he, I'm not saying he's a bad player. It's just choppy. Like, so it's not fine motor skill like Kyrie Irving is fine motor. Mm-hmm. Shaq had both. Like, yeah, he, man. Has, he has the ability to do both, which is incredible. Inside, inside the NBA, who do you feel has the most hype? Hmm. <laughs> like real hype or fake hype? Fake hype. Fake hype. Yeah. Like, oh, man, you ain't no. <laughs> oh, okay. Charles has the most fake hype. Like, he ain't really that tough. Right. <laughs> like, he, oh he want to be gosh. a tough guy. He really, like, no, because he's, like, he's he's really sensitive. Mm. So, like, if you if he saw somebody, he's going to be, oh, are you okay? And he's going to rub your back and little people and, oh, excuse me, miss, you need, you drop this. Can I help you across the street? But I'll smack you in the face. Nah, right, 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 right. You're a tough guy. Right. Tough guys I know, they not helping no old ladies across the street. Inside, yeah. inside the NBA, Kenny the Jet Smith, you're on a raft. Ooh. In the middle of the ocean. Mm-hmm. 
All righty. You look in the ocean. You see two people floating. By the grace of God, you can only pull up one. I can only pull up one. Who do you pull up? They both, Shaq or Chuck? They both drowning, bro. Really? Because I know if I tried to pull one, he he's a little too heavy, mm-hmm. and they'd pull me in. Right. They and always they probably just pull you and, in. And that metaphor funny. is real. <laughs> right. They always pull me into the shenanigans. Right. So they pulled me in. So I know they would be like, pull them in and let's see together. if we, th- we all going. They would be like, we all dying together. We all Damn. dying together. So the joke would be, pull one of us in. And they would have already arranged that we pull in yeah. every, we all dying together. I heard that. And so I'm not, I'll be like, now nah, you know, I know this. I miss y'all. Yeah. I'm, I'm not pulling. Like, they would man, pull me in the chicane. I know it. It would a, be a fake. Do a week of remembrance and everything. Because no, right? they would yeah. already have, like I said, they would already have plotted to pull me in. Man, he's signing me a copy of the book right yes, now, indeed. man. Yes, Talk indeed. of champions, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Talk indeed. of champions, stories of the people who made me. All righty. I got to ask you this, man. I saw you on vacation. Were you on vacation? Uh, When? I've been on vacation a lot. I don't know, life. brother, but <laughs> I've, I've never asked you about your vacations before. Mm-hmm. But I'm specifically asking you about this one. Vacation? Yeah. I, I've been in the NBA <laughs> playoffs for a lot. Yeah, but I've, I've never seen you like... Like this. Wait, what? Could you explain that? Man. I, I don't want to. I'm not going to incriminate myself with something that I don't know what you're talking about. Let me tell you, man. Yes. I wasn't looking at your picture. I was looking at who you were with. Oh. My Lord. Yes. I ain't mad at you, brother. What? I mean. Like, we don't we don't see a lot of dating pictures or we don't get that far in, but. I, I say this. I was always, I'm always interested in this, like, that people find news that. Because the headline was like, he's on a beach with no shirt. I'm like. Is that, is that what they say? Is, is Kenny Smith jetting on the beach with no shirt? I'm right. like, really? That isn't that what you're supposed to do right. on the beach? Like, why is that? Nuclear? See, ours. Uh, what we put up was uh, Kenny the Jet Smith on the beach with a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's that's, 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 that's what we put up. No, yeah. but see, like, I'm a single man. Right, right. Praise God. <laughs> I, I mean, thank for you. That wait, is, yeah. wait, 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 <laughs> about, wait a minute. Because no, we got to live did. through you, man. <laughs> like, like I don't, I don't want oh, you to be no, listen, in a I relationship or marriage. Listen, I'm going to talk to your wife. Yeah. You. And she would say he that was, too. She'd be was, like. He was talking to me. Yeah, I'm saying. Because pra- he's praising the fact that I'm not doing anything that I shouldn't be doing. Right. No, I'm saying not this. wishing that he would. I'm talking oh, my to wife, your wife. My wife. I ain't talking to you. Okay, go ahead. I know your wife. So I'm talking to her. I know her too. I know your kid. And she I know, know your me. son too. Right. right. So we talking to the family. Right. That was for me. Right. All right. So anyway. Yeah. And the reason why I said that, man, is because I looked and I was like, man, good. Yeah. You know. Hell yeah. Well, I wrote a book. Praise him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Talk of champions. Hey, man. Hey, you, listen. I, and I, you got to talk. No, no, honestly, like, I was just on the beach having a good time mm-hmm. in Miami. Did you marry her? No, stop See, that's that. the difference between us. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I remember when I was on the beach man. with my wife. Come on, When man. we were just dating, I was like, when, as soon as I saw her, I was like, I'm marrying you. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, I'm not going to say anything. No. All I'm going to say is this. This is the one time you like, well, No, this. I'm going to just say this. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just say this. Like, God is good. God is good. Okay. However, All the time. like, I, I'm, it's, I'm not new to being around people who are attractive. Yeah, I'm just new to the picture. Oh, there it is. I'm I'm new. Okay. I know you're not new. Okay. If then you see my kids, you could tell they don't look like me. There it they is. They look like they're beautiful kids and they look like their moms. Yeah, so, man. Um, that's not I'm the just going to tell you straight up, man. I was so happy. Not for you. Right. For I was happy for us. For us. Yeah, man. Because I had a chance to see it. And I'm going to tell you, you know who brought it to my attention? I can't Veronica, remember. my wife. Stop oh, it. Wow. Oh, my man. Veronica, what are you doing out there? You dry snitching and, and out I was, here. I was like, oh, my. What do you mean dry snitching? You was on a. You was out on the beach. I wasn't. I wasn't. I didn't have a camera. I ain't posted. Yeah, man. I ain't mad at you, man. Come on. Who was she? She's a friend. Of oh mine. my god, bro. I, I'm, not, I, I'm not. I don't. Have, I'm not any any relationship that you know that you need to know about yet. Yeah, when I send you the if I ever send you an invitation, you I don't get want it. you to be in a relationship I need to know about. I want you to keep doing this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want you to it was keep like that, doing really? this. Oh man. It's like that. Oh my God, man! Bro. I gotta take a look I think, at that. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think we went to her uh, Instagram page. Really? I if gotta, I'm not mistaken, I gotta figure out. Yeah, hey, man. it's like like that. Oh my God! You didn't go bro. to my Instagram page? You on Instagram? I'm so scared too. Man. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh my God, bro. Oh no, man. No. It's like, funny because a lot of yeah, I'm a lady. Did, 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 did the fellas on the oh, show? Did, did they say? Did 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 they say anything about that particular one? Because for some reason, I remember that. 
said it, it. It, it. They still said it. But I'm like, and every time they say it, I go, y'all act like y'all never saw me on the beach with no, or me in a room with no shirt on. Right. I, I'm in a locker room all the time. Right. They're like, no. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. But God is good all the yeah, time. Yeah, man. How many oh, thumbs up text messages did you get? <laughs> I, I don't I, like I don't even play that game honestly like I when when it was funny because when someone talked now. about it I'm like <laughs> <laughs> when they talk about it I'm like you know I'm just I was just on the beach yeah you know yeah I was just on the beach and that just happened to be that day on the beach mm. oh that day I love it <laughs> go ahead now I know it's just it. from, from the Himalayas huh? so I'm not going yeah. no. That's all yeah, I'm you're like, man, exactly. you're like, man, this is what I do, man. <laughs> so anyway, Talk of Champions are out now. <laughs> there it is, man. The book. It's, out. it's pictures in the book, too. Yeah. Nah, not those. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> all platforms. Oh, all yeah. Platforms. Hello. Barnes and Nobles, uh, digital, everything you can see, it's there. Hey, man, have you walked through the airport and saw your book yet? That's I dope. I walked in the Barnes and Noble and saw it. That's crazy, ain't it? And I was like, I walked around, and then they had it up. In the area, then I start taking it and put it in other areas. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> just in case. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, it's fiction. Definitely should be here. Reality. <laughs> Definitely should be yeah, here. Yeah, I was like, yeah. When it comes to the Suns this season with Kevin Durant, everybody, Chris Paul, the injury and stuff like that, what do the Suns need to do mm. next year? The Suns. Well, you know, again, that's, they did the same as the Lakers. They tried to, you know, instant oatmeal it. Like, mm. oh, we're gonna trade for Kevin Durant. We're gonna win the championship. No, mm. that, that doesn't happen like that. Championships are built. Like everybody, and this is this is another message. Here's, you know, I'm gonna give them. I'm, just, I'm gonna get on my soapbox. The world is about baking, mm. not about microwave. Mm. It's not a microwave. Like, and food that's baked tastes better. Yeah, man. Put it mm. in the oven. It t- and you, but if you check on it every five minutes, it looks like it ain't done. And like, but it's getting done, and that's what the sons and everybody's trying to do, even in like. I talk to kids, parents, like they, oh, it's nothing happen for my son, right? No, there is a process to greatness. And that's why I loved what uh, Giannis said, Antetokounmpo. Oh, yeah. He was like, no, yeah. I didn't fail. Right. There's a process to greatness. Yeah. Like, there's a process to be yeah. a champion. And he was saying, like, the years that, that Michael Jordan didn't win, he said, you looked at those, those as a failure? failure? Right, right. Yeah. But he had it so accurate. Yeah. Like, and, and because it's so instant. That you want it this second. He's like, no, nah, I, I want one, mm-hmm. and I'm going to get another one, but this is the process to get to it, and that's it. And that's how I look at it. Did I lose? Yeah. But did I fail? Right. Mm-hmm. It's a, total it's a different. totally different scenario. And yeah. he got it, and that's what goes on with the Suns. Like, they like, we failed, so I got to get something quick. So mm-hmm. now they got to keep that together and see if it bakes. Gotcha. You know? Hey, man, do you get a chance to go to games? Mm-hmm. Really? Do you enjoy going to games yeah. live? Yes. Do people get nervous when they see y'all? No. I, what happens, like, I I never ask, very rarely, maybe once or twice, but I never ask the teams to give me tickets. Right. I go straight to Ticketmaster and just buy them, Right. Right? And so I like sitting with the fans. <laughs> right. That's dope. You know, I like sitting. I'm not sitting in the ble- nosebleed, though. Right, I'm, right. I'm like 10 rows up. Okay. 10 I got you. I got you. Know, like in the mix. Yeah. Like where the real fans are sitting. Like, I want to feel it. Hear what they're saying, get the energy. Like I, I feel like I'm not an analyst anymore; that I'm a fan. Like when LeBron was uh, breaking the record, mm-hmm. yeah. my son was coming from practice. We were in. He goes to Modern Day. Mm-hmm. My son Malloy goes to Modern Day. Way out there, we're like an hour and a half, and the game's starting. And he's like, "Man, that would be great to be." So I go to Ticketmaster. Oh no, bro! As I'm driving. And he's like, yo, you missed the exit. I'm like, no, we're going to the game. We got to see history. Wow. So we get tickets and we get there at halftime. And we're sitting in the midst, midst of it, man. Oh, right man. in the middle. We're like row 10, and everybody, like front row, court side seats there, you know, they're, you know, they're yeah. over there. They're doing the but thing. Row 10, they're like, every second, he's got the ball. Yeah. And, we're, and my son is like, he's got the ball. And I'm like, he's got the ball. Damn so I, I get to be oh. that. So, man, we drove there, caught the second half, and caught it. Like, those are the type of moments. I'm a basketball Can I fan. ask you this, though? Why did you buy 10th row seats when you could have bought nosebleed and walked down? No, you couldn't on that night. Not at the Lakers. Kenny the Jet Smith could. Yeah, but true. I could have got I could have got press passes. Yeah, I, I could have did one of them things. Yeah. Cause I'm telling you, man, you see how tacky I am. I'll be like, hey man, me see. and Kenny, Kenny need to get down here. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I got I'm I got, always I, your rep. I, I, I got a friend of mine, he calls himself crime. 
Mm-hmm. I'm like, why you call yourself crime? Because crime don't pay. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> crime ain't paying yeah. for nothing, man. Shoot me crime's number. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't paying. Shoot me, shoot say, me what crime. are you doing? I got, but I'm like, I want to feel the energy nah, I, of that. I, I totally understand, you know, bro. I just, that's a good How energy. was that moment with your son? Oh, that was unbelievable, yeah. man. Because I'm a, like yeah. I said, I was the kid who had every player, the Yankees on my, the Knicks and all mm-hmm. of my tape, favorite teams in New York. I had all their posters on my wall. I had every sport magazine. I was a fan. Then all of a sudden, like my 10th, 11th grade in high school, I got really good. Really? And I became one of the best players in the country. Kenny, how, how tall are you? 6'3". I heard that, man. Yeah. You played your ass yeah, off, but though. It, I, I, I went from big. I went from, and I wrote this in the book, I went from not being recruited as a junior. I didn't have one scholarship offer to being a top five player in the country my senior year. How so? In six months. How so, six man? Six months. Work ethic. My, my high school coach. He brought me in his office. Me and him were tight. And I really, and the reason why I want you to slow down and take your time on this, because my son plays basketball. Okay. And there's a lot of kids that have dreams. And, and, and But let's just stick to hoop dreams. Right. There's a lot of kids that have hoop dreams. Right. And now we look at social media mm-hmm. and we think you need this. You know, and, and it helps. You got to have it right now. Yeah, right now, the highlight reel, the so on and so forth. So you were saying as a junior after my after mm-hmm. my junior year in high school, so this is applicable in life and everything else, I had zero scholarship offers. Zero. I went in, so I went into the office. You know, my, me and I used to hang out with my high school coach all the time. He was a straight shooter. I loved him to death, Jack Curran. He goes, hey, Kenny, what do you want to do in life? You know, because he, 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 he cared about me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I want to be an NBA player. He goes, oh, I, I didn't know that because you don't work hard enough. Oh, wow. But he said it so casually that I knew he was serious and he wasn't trying to motivate me. And he was just bringing me in to be like, oh, if you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, right. I have avenues to get you an internship. Or like, he was really concerned to like, how I'm going to help this kid be whatever he wants to be. And so that summer, I just did the ordinary things extra. Mm. So I ran, instead of running up, I lived on the 12th floor, I, instead of taking the elevator, I walked up the stairs or ran up the stairs when I went home. So you do that four times a day, and then you do your work. So I just did extra things mm. that, that were ordinary. And so I went from there, no scholarships junior year, to my after the end of my senior year, I was first-team All-American, McDonald's All-American, and every school in the country asked me for to go to their school. Wow. There was not one school I could not go to. That's crazy. And six so this six is months. after the 11th so that's, grade season, that's your May, junior that's May. So this is so all from seen. June to the next to to March, the end of March with my high school season, and every school in the country offered me a scholarship. Damn, that's wow. amazing, bro. But that that's and I because didn't you grow, put it in. I didn't grow. Right. I didn't like get this crazy. Yeah, because you spurt. hear people say, "Yeah, he grew no, like five inches no, over the summer." No, no, I just did the ordinary you just things grew. extra. I grew mentally. Yeah, man. That was it. Wow. Yeah. And Man, that, it that that's a story that people got to yeah. hear. And like you say, that applies to life. That applies to life because yeah. it's right there if you just change your direction of how you do it. We're all reaching the same destination, but we got to get there on a different track. Mm. You know, other tracks are slower. Right. And we got to figure out how to get, how to like speed up our track a little bit. And for me, it was him just casually. Oh, I'm, I'm, I didn't know that. I thought you, you don't work hard enough. Damn. Like, because he had been around NBA players and and he and he coached baseball. He'd been around baseball players that went made it to the major league. And he just thought I was want to be a great I was a good student too. So he was trying to like, oh, I have this internship at this Bear Stearns, which was the thing, which I still did. He was getting me an internship Damn. as a stockbroker. Did you have <laughs> this conversation with him? Oh yeah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah That's of course. crazy. He said, because he asked me when I came back my senior year, I came back. So he saw me then. And I went out and someone came back. He's like, I've never seen anyone get that much better in three months. I said, what did you do? And I told him the conversation. I said, your conversation changed my direction. And he Damn. called North Carolina. And that's how I got to North Carolina. Yeah, Because he called Because he could have called the, the stockbroker. He could have called, like, yeah. He called North Carolina because he and Dean Smith were friends. And Dean Smith used to call him every year and say, hey, what New York players can play at? at my school and then he said I have one at my school he said what did he transfer in he said no he was here I've never seen anyone improve that much in three months 
That's so I was there bro. for three years. He knew DJ and never <laughs> called for me. Yeah. He never called. Yeah. He was like, no, I don't have any. There's no kids in New York to play at your school. Right. And then, boom. Man, that's an amazing story, yeah. bro. That's how, it, that's how it happened. Kenny the Jet Smith, cool. yeah. definitely want to thank you for coming Thanks, into the man. neighborhood and hanging out with us, man, bro. This is fun all the time. Oh, my God, man. And, fun, and like man. I say, man, man, y'all continue to, to do what y'all do very well. Please. Right. I'm, 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 I'm always entertained. Yes. And, and I still get the, uh, the knowledge as well. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on your book, my Thank brother. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Go ahead now, Talk man. champion. Man. And I'm if anybody can write this book, you, if it, I'm about to Two. write my book. Yes, yeah, it I'm is. about to write me another one. This yes, is beautiful, bro. Thank the you, only man. thing between my book and your book is I'm pretty sure yours uh, will sell. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, All right. Uh, did you, you have a copy of it? You know uh, why? Everybody that got a copy of my book, I had to give it to them. Really? Right, right. Watch this. Jose, you got a book? That one. How did you get it? Uh, you gave it to me. Right. Annie, do you have Big Boy's book? Yeah. How did you get it? You gave it. All right. No, no. <laughs> Luigi, you have Big Boy's no. book? Yeah, I got it. All righty. How did you get it? Oh, uh, you gave me one. All righty. <laughs> do you have it yet, Wacko? I'll bring you one tomorrow. I'll bring you one tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring no, you one. Oh, friends support friends. Mm, yeah, please, yeah, yeah, please. That's, yeah. And they did. We did. We got yeah. the I'm going to give you an example. I saw When I saw my book in Barnes & Nobles, you know what else book I saw? Bill Bellamy. Oh, really? And I, I didn't realize he had a book. I picked it up. I yeah, bought that's it. what I do, man. I just I bought it. I buy the book. Like this, I'm it. definitely buying yeah, the book. It. I bought it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Believe that. But thank you for coming into Stay the nice. neighborhood, All man. Right. We will see you. Right. Kenny the Jet Smith in the neighborhood, Big Boy's Neighborhood. <laughs>